on Wednesday, President Trump granted Alice Marie Johnson clemency. So Johnson has been serving a life sentence in a federal prison for over 21 years due to drug trafficking. Um, she was for a period of time, for a period of at least two or three years, uh, she held a very instrumental role in this whole drug trafficking ring. And uh, so she was sentenced in 1996 and uh, she was serving time in a federal prison. Uh, so what that means is that she was not eligible for parole. So life imprisonment and that's it. So her only recourse was having a presidential pardon or a commutation, something like that. So President Trump did grant that. So he commuted her service. I mean, well, he commuted her sentence. And so she will be getting out um, sometime soon. Uh, so clemency for Johnson was granted just one week after Kim Kardashian appeared at the White House to advocate for her release one person being freed even if it's good for that person and their family doesn't strike me as like anything significant especially when there are thousands of people in the same position as johnson right now you know what i'm saying it's still just one person you see what i'm saying i'm like where does it go where does it go after this i mean people will say well she used her celebrity to do something good but I'm thinking, was it just her celebrity that did it, though? Or was it was it kind of uh, Kanye making inroads mm -hmm. with Donald Trump and appealing to his ego that kind of started it? You see what I'm saying? Because I don't think it was just a celebrity alone. I just, I, just, I just don't think that that's a good route to go, stroking Trump's ego in order to build inroads into the White House and using celebrity as the kind of the secondary right. uh, key to unlock like uh, Trump's heart. I believe it's great that that one individual is getting out because I don't believe she should have been in. I don't believe she should have been in jail at all. One, but two for 21 years and serving a sentence without uh, parole. That's absolutely crazy. So again, I, I can't say enough of how I feel great for her. But the thousands of others that are in similar situations, if Kim Kardashian actually wanted to do something and I, I you know, I've, I've seen a lot of criticism, criticism and I have criticism for whatever Kardashian's efforts were, because I'm not going to say that a celebrity can't take up an issue, use their celebrity, use all the clout that they have, all the influence they have and actually make a difference, actually do something positive for this world, for this country, for a state, for a community, whatever. They could definitely do that. They can definitely use their imp the impact that they that they do have, and they could you know funnel it into something positive. I I applaud an effort like that. But when Kim Kardashian only chooses one person, one individual, when there are literally thousands of people in the same situation, you pick one of them and say, "Hey, President Trump, I want you to release this individual." You haven't done a damn thing if you really want to take this issue up why didn't you why didn't you form a list why didn't you come in there with a clipboard damn you know what damn a clipboard you know what because i'm thinking old school come with a oh, come yeah, with a drive yeah drive <laughs> come with a drive, a thumb drive yeah or thumb or drive or a tablet or exactly something. plug it into a computer say look you see all these thousands of people we need all these people go we need to let all these people go okay that's one two there are people saying like you just said there are people saying that like they're applauding her effort and saying that she did great things. You're, like she used her celebrity celebrity to get this done. But when you release one prisoner, but the whole system remains in place for thousands of others to be in the same position that Alice Marie Johnson was in. What did you do? It just looks like she picks a favorite from that Mike right. video. Right. And Viral used, video. And again, you it just rubbed look, you the right way. It, ru it rubbed you the right way. And again, obviously she's going to have to make it when she comes in there. She knows she knows the game. She knows optics. That's 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 her game. She she knows how to uh, put certain things out about herself to increase her brand. So she's no no dummy with like a PR. Mm -hmm. So you really think she was just going to go up in there with uh, kind of a, a plan to free this one person without like putting something some other major issue or connecting it with some other major issue you think she wasn't going to do that you see what I'm saying like I just again 
that's just my pessimism. I just mm. think she was kind of connecting it to that larger issue and uh, to kind of provide some sort of buffer to her wanting to get this one person free. Again, we just got to wait and see. I just don't see a lot coming from this. At least, at least like after the pardon, there could have been not the pardon, but the, the clemency. Yeah. Uh, there could have been at least something, some indication that Trump, because that's who she went to, uh-huh. was going to, I don't know, try to initiate something like legislatively or instruct Congress through like a- executive order. I'm not saying like write one then and there, but like, hey, I might do an executive order or I might instruct the DOJ or I might do that. Nothing came of that. Well, see, that that's why... Nothing like that came out of this. You first, like, I, I, I give... Kim Kardashian just minuscule amounts of credit uh, but Donald Trump I give absolutely no credit whatsoever and a lot of people are giving him credit hey he did something good especially noting like his take on the war on drugs and how he's even advocated for you know uh, the death penalty for drug traffickers drug dealers he's advocated for the death penalty because he thinks they kill like thousands of people right so yeah so noting that somebody like that actually actually granted clemency to somebody that was in jail for the same damn thing that i mean that's wow so of course his supporters like yeah i mean he did a great thing but when looking at the people that he has actually granted a pardon to or clemency to or whatever (laughs) this is all about celebrity so you got so you got okay so you got alice marie johnson and her release was advocated by a celebrity celebrity, right so you got um jack johnson Celebrity. Celebrity. He was a celebrity, and celebrities advocated for him to be pardoned. Sylvester Stallone. Okay, so uh, Joe Arpaio, Chef Sheriff Joe Arpaio. He was a sheriff. He had a very notable position, right? High pro- profile position. A buddy of Donald a Trump, buddy right? Donald Trump. Who else? Um, Dinesh, Dinesh D'Souza. D'Souza. He be, he be, he can be considered a buddy of Donald Trump, yes. seeing as his entire political agenda or like probably one big piece of Dinesh D'Souza's political agenda was always going after Obama. And he's a celebrity. And he's a celebrity. <laughs> uh, another one, uh, Scooter Libby, former chief of staff to Dick Cheney, high profile position. All of these people are celebrities and possibly he will pardon two more that he's talked about. Rob Lagojevich, who was the governor of Illinois and who's you know his wife is making the rounds giving so much praise to donald trump so you know what's coming and then also martha stewart who's a damn celebrity all of these people have some kind of clout some kind of some kind of name that is known out there they have a celebrity to them so it's not that donald trump is like hey you know what let me do something good let me let me find somebody hey you were really screwed over by the system man you i'm gonna grant your release You're did little, he do that a little man a no, man, he's not person. advocating for little people, people that don't have any name, people that don't have any support. He's advocating for celebrities. He didn't do a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs>